Alonso here. He is one of the best featherweights in the world and fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. featherweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia Elmanipal-Gorria. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Referee for this ready. one. Let's do it. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, be opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing the finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Make first contact. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Big, straight left. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a hole for that time. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab that you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the outfit. Oh, 
Good jab there by the champion. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Less than two minutes now to go. Topodia gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Takedown defense holds up. Holloway at his relentless best. No breathing room for the opponent as he continues to press forward. Multiple kicks land on the target. Great job. Holloway's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Holloway's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. It's bleeding pretty good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the brow. He can get through this. He's just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his own blood, so that helps things a little bit. He'll get a, pain, he'll get a lot of things, he'll get a lot of it now. All right, next round is underway. We will continue to monitor that storyline moving forward. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. We have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Holloway. He's got some hands, man. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Closed guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. <laughs> okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. And he will let his opponent stand up here. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. Oh! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. That leg kick hurt. that left hand. Huge block there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. 
might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit with a full guard. When you sit the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Side control now. You guys trying to get to the guards here. Oh, that boss choke is tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, Very man, fresh. you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Oh, the high kick lands. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Topunia's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, Chan. Oh! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Now he's back up. Oh, that jab hurt him. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Slips the punch. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Beautiful grounded power. Is that the cut? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Ilya Topuria. And he's back up. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the table. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Big left hand there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the last. Oh, no! Nice defense. Oh! Gets back to his feet. Winding down in round three. All right, All right that's three rounds stop, in the stop, books. Stop. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to... Oh! Back to his feet. Landed a nasty flying knee to the head. Topuria's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Strike lands cleanly there. Oh! And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max West Holloway. How about it, folks? Max Holloway by knockout. He had a different tone to him this week in our fighter meeting. He was urgent, felt like he kind of needed a statement maker here tonight. Couldn't have done more to maximize.